Oh, hi there. Rocky here. One of the difficulties we have in building construction is caused when we can't fully see all facets or sides of the construction that we're dealing with. And as you can see as I stand here it's hard to tell if some of these objects are linked or touching or penetrating and um, there's in fact there's four cubes here which we don't really see well from this angle. Now one of the ways that we can see better is to and I'll just close this camera controls window is to move around and then we can actually see from different angles um, exactly the spatial relationship between each one of these objects. So I'm just moving around and I'm also using my left arrow to turn and my right arrow to turn right so that I get a better um, viewpoint of these objects. Now when we're building homes or large structures often the space is very tight and we can't actually physically move ourselves in order to get a better view. So another way of getting a better view is to use the camera controls. So instead of us moving physically, the avatar, uh, and therefore moving the camera the, or the viewpoint that's attached to us, instead of us moving, we're going to stay stationary, but we're going to move the camera. So to do that we'll need the camera controls window open. Down here on the bottom of the browser there's a button that says camera controls. So I'll just click on that and let's move it over a little. So we see it's a box that says camera controls and there are several controls on here. Now normally when it's open it may it, it'll take the the view of whatever was used last. So it may be this simple view here that says front view, side view and rear view. But what we want to look at is the more advanced view or the more advanced way of moving the camera which we get by clicking on this middle lower button here. And now we get the camera controls. So um, there's three areas here for control. There's a circle with a, a set of four arrows in it. On the other side there's a square with a set of four arrows and then in the center there's a slider control. The, the slider control, let's just talk about that first, it will zoom the camera right into a spot or zoom it out. So as I move the, the slider control down to the minus the camera zooms out and as I move it into the plus the camera zooms in. So I'm just going to move it back a little. Um, now you can also do that if you have a three button mouse or a, th uh, or a mouse with a, a wheel in the center. Usually the wheel, as you move the center wheel of the mouse like I'm doing here, it will also zoom you out and zoom you in depending on the direction of <coughs> of the way you move the wheel. Now um, we can physically move the camera by either of these two controls. The circular control here moves the camera in a circle, either a horizontal circle that's in the flat plane or a vertical circle that goes up or under the object. So let's look at the two arrows, the two horizontal arrows. They move the camera, I'm clicking them now, they move the camera in a horizontal fashion. Uh, in one direction or the other direction depending on which arrow you click. And let's just continue. So that is a complete circle for the camera um, around a center point. And then the 
two arrows, the top pointing arrow and the bottom pointing arrow, or the up arrow and the down arrow, again move the camera in a circle, but this time it's a circle that's going overhead from the ground level, so 90 degrees relative to the ground, or 90 degrees in the opposite direction, which is sort of under the ground from this starting point where we have the camera. Now the square um, set of arrows here, this just moves the camera up straight up. We're using the vertical arrow or straight down using the uh, downward pointing arrow or horizontally across from a starting point to the right, to the left, excuse me, or horizontally to the right using the uh, right pointing arrow. So all in all we have um, four directions of circular motion from a starting point with the camera and four ways of moving the camera in a linear or straight line way from the starting point. One thing we can also do is click on a cube, uh, sorry, right click on the cube and then click zoom in and that's also a useful way of seeing what's going on a close up with a particular object. So we just click on it, right click on it and then click zoom in and so on. And you can also move the camera from this position. So now I'm clicking the circular, um, the arrow that moves the camera in a circle to the left and now I'm moving the camera uh, in a circular fashion to the right. And now I'm moving the camera circularly up. So I'm over the cubes, a couple of the cubes, and now I'm moving the camera down so that I can now see the faces uh, that are on the bottom of the cubes. Or I can see the bottom of the cubes in this way. So again, what I did was I actually zoomed in on a cube. That's put my camera in a, di in a new position. But now I can, from this position, use my my camera controls. The horizontal ones are not very useful there, but the circular ones maybe to give you whatever a viewpoint of whatever position you would like. And then you can also zoom out from this position. I'm using my mouse wheel, but you could use this slider here too, up and down for the zoom in and zoom out. And if you want to get back to your original camera position, go to this basic view by clicking the little button that's on the far left and just click rear view.